How's it going, folks? Uh, kind of a, a different video. I still outdoors, but as you can see, it's winter. It is cold. There's a deer. There's another deer. Hi, deer. Um. Oh, look, it stopped. That's a pretty good sized deer. Uh. So, backstory. About a week or two, week and a half, two weeks ago. Um, <clears throat> I pulled like an ultra all nighter. I slept. I was awake for like 30 hours, <laughs> and uh, well, they're just chilling. Oh, there's three. I'm pulling an all nighter, and I look over, and my my window, and this pond is right outside my window, across the road. Boop. Excuse me. Well, I saw something like going crazy in the pond. <clears throat> I'm like, what the heck is it? So I get my pellet rifle and I look through the scope and uh, I seen one going across the pond swimming. And I thought, man, that's beavers. So, I grabbed my rifle, my, my Creedmoor, and I was going to try to sneak up because beavers are bad news for just any, they will dam this thing up right here, and <clears throat> pretty much dam this up so that the water rises and it would flood all this and he would lose his fish uh, <clears throat> so I was going to do him a favor you know me, we have a general respect he comes if I ask him for anything help wise he you know he's I he you know helps me get the horses whenever they get loose and stuff and if I see a turtle in his pond, I'll shoot it. <clears throat> I'll shoot him out of his pond for him. And, uh, well, I seen what I thought was beavers. So I started looking a little closer, and I seen one dive. And I thought, man, that's not beavers, that's otters. There were three or four river otters in this pond. And... I have never seen an otter really up close other than like at a zoo. But I thought river otters, this is this is a pond. How did they make it all the way? The river is like a long ways that way. So I don't know if like the fishing hole they were in dried up because beaver otters eat a lot. They're they're cute, but you do not want them in your fish pond because they will wreak havoc on your fish numbers and I think this might be something from them and like right here that's a deer but I believe a lot of these scratches are beavers or not beavers good grief otters uh, well I was going to trap them just to see one up close and mom was like, no, don't, don't, don't hurt the beaver, or the otters. I don't, I keep saying beavers because it's so weird to say otters. So, uh, I was just going to trap one to see it. And, um, mom told me not to, said she wanted, she liked watching them, and I said, mom they're going to eat everything and they're coming up and eating the clams and stuff but like they dive for fish they 
are very good predators. They're, they're, they're little shaped like little torpedoes. They're very fast in the water. And they also are very agile. They can swim and catch fish like nobody's business. So, she says, don't. And I thought, well, all right, I won't. Then a few days later, neighbor, him, property owner, gets hold of mom and says, hey, I need you to tell your boy to come trap these otters. Relocate them. You don't want them killed. Although it is, it's it's trapping season. For those of you that don't know, here in my state of West Virginia, trapping season for beavers, otters, um, coyotes, possums, skunks. The whole nine yards pretty much um, have a they're they don't run out there they don't go out of season until February the 29th and this is I think January the 20th so I have yeah the 20th so I have just over a month to catch and trap whatever I can. So I've had this trap. This is actually not mine. It's been borrowed. But I've had this one for a while. I bought these two three or four days ago um, at Rural King. was having a sale on them. These two were in like a, a kit for $30. And I also got two dog proofs. Dog proofs probably won't help with otters because their paws are kind of webbed. But I'm hoping that. Oh, that's not going Let me see about turning it this way. Dang it. I want you to stay open. Ouch. Hmm. Well, I will, uh, I'll just sit this one up and down like that. <clears throat> um. I'm going to set this one where it's rusty. It's going to be super, super hard to see right there beside the road this green one the big one there's a trail right here and it's not deer because if you look through right here this is right through the middle of the path and all of these weeds are laid over so it's definitely this small or smaller through both of these and these two go from one trail back there to two or from two to one I don't know if this is an entrance or an exit or probably both <clears throat> and then it also looks like something comes across right there so I'm going to put a trap right here behind this tree <clears throat> and the small trap I might not might not fool with it because otters get pretty big but at the same time there may be I have it I might as well put it up I mean worst come worst thing happens is I don't get nothing in it um, so green big one over here small or big rusty one over there because it's in amongst of leaves and it will blend in 
<laughs> so nobody will steal it. And the small one, I'll probably put maybe along that tree. I want to make them to where I can see them pretty easily from the the house. But what I have for bait <clears throat> is since they were eating clams, I couldn't find but just one live clam. The rest were ones I've actually got out of this pond. They're filters. They, they filter. They're like a water purifier, and they just filter out the stuff they want to eat and then release the cleaner water. So I put some in the fish tanks. Well, my mom's angelfish did stuff like this and killed them. So now they're just empty shells. But I'm hoping that the eye appeal of these, because they're all over the place over here. Like there's some right there, a lot of snow right there. They're, they're pulling these clams out. <clears throat> like right here. That's clam. So I've got a bunch of dead but closed up clams. So I'm going to put them in the traps and the bigger traps, which I'm most confident with being able to catch something. I'm going to put two. Well, I've got two crappie, one in each one. I caught these crappie a few months ago, and I had one in my fish tank, or I had put them in my fish tank, and uh, after a little bit, my Oscar kind of killed them, so I had them frozen. But I just thawed them back out. This is the one that I believe the Oscar killed, because it's... He, Kind of took its scales, yeah, he, he took the scales off of it. But, gonna <clears throat> so this one is pretty much ready to go. I will come around here. And this will be I want it to be sturdy so he can't knock it over. Okay. I just want to keep it to where they can't really reach their hands in, especially otters, because they have kind of bigger paws. Coons can sometimes reach their hands inside and pull the bait out from the back if they're really smart so a lot of coons don't even realize they're trying to get trapped and they'll just go right in but make sure this is yes there's nothing ouch crap nothing in the way from this one to get set off again Kinda hide it a little bit. <coughs> Give him a kind of give him a path of least resistance.
Isn't that? <clears throat> Should do it for that one. The clams. It's leaning down so the clams won't roll underneath the pressure plate. So we're good there. All right. On. I don't want to disturb that. On to set number two. Well. I'll just put a few smaller ones in that one. Because of the other small trap. You know what? <clears throat> that small trap is actually pretty, really small. So, uh, go ahead and get that out of there. This is one of those more ouch, old school traps. This is it's literally old. And I will take this one. <coughs> Excuse me. And take it over here. Or should I take this one? farther back that way. I'll cover both sides. Just in case if they decide to come up this way one time. I'll still they'll go they'll go past a fish either side. him back around the back. Okay. Oh, you see that cage right there? At the back? How it's much finer uh, bars? That is because, like I said earlier, they like to, coons like to reach in through the back and get the bait out. That's what that's about. So, that one's good. Set. That one over there is set. So there's one on either side of the, the dam and the waterfall. Not sure where I want to sit that smallest one. I don't really have any. Like otters get pretty big. And these otters were pretty big. Smallest tra trap. 
I think I will put it a little bit farther back in there. Oh my gosh, that dog. I hate the dog. There's the live one and then a dead one. Another dead one. I smell. Oh yeah, that's, I'm gonna take this. That looks like the path right there. So what I'm gonna do, is use this rock as a backstop. And this is the path Make sure they're all pointed to the back so they won't roll underneath the trap with the pressure plate. What is oh that's a Off of the trail, but literally put that down there. And since this smells very fishy, I'll dump that on the oysters or the clams and another set now if one gets caught in this I would say it might set off trap its tail and could possibly get loose because it doesn't this thing oh it closes but it can still be opened until this little uh, I didn't bring a flashlight This little silver bar right here going across will fall, ride this thing up, and it'll drop back down. And this bar will bump up against this little, little uh, flat and it won't let it back open back up. So if an otter gets in, like a smaller one, and its tail, if it can get enough of it in here to that thing to close down, enough to stop it then it'll probably pull its tail in and they're super flexible so I'd say it could even rotate and spin around and pull its tail through to close it and you're supposed to check traps every 24 hours at least you can't let them sit longer than a day so there we go all three of the box traps good to go and yeah that's pretty much it I will go ahead and get up on out of here let these things sit I don't know if they can smell me or if uh, they they are that kind of animal or like they won't come in if they smell a person but if they smell fish which those fish even though they were in the freezer for three three four months two or three something like that my hands smell very 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 fishy 
and they were eating on the clams so I put a few in there uh, so I guess I will get off of here and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow